Hello! Welcome back to my channel! I'm back home now. If you guys have been keeping up with me, I was traveling quite a bit. I was just in Japan for spring break. Before that, I was in Florida with my best friends. Now I'm officially back home, but just for a little bit, you'll see. You'll see later on where I go next. It's a new week now, and I'm in the thick of it with school, okay? I swear to God, it's been midterms for a month now. Like, I keep saying I'm in midterms, but then a different class starts their midterm a week later, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've been going through exams and midterms and essays and projects for like uh, all of March and I April now. Like, I, I don't know. Okay, we're struggling, that's all. But I thought I would take you guys through a busy slash hopefully productive week in my life. I'm gonna be fully transparent here. Ever since I returned from Japan, I went to one class. <laughs> in the whole week that I had. I, I don't know how that necessarily played out, but it did. I guess jet lag, I slept through a lot of my morning classes, but I can't really use that excuse. So we're gonna hold myself accountable here, and maybe this will be motivation for you guys to hold yourself accountable and not skip classes if that's what you're doing like me. On one of my most recent videos, I got asked to show you guys how I make my matcha. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my beautiful, delicious matcha. So let's go. This is the matcha that I use. I got it in Japan. I take a teaspoon, heaping teaspoon of matcha, and I take this little sifter and Sift it out so there's no clumps. And there's your pile of matcha. Now these are the two current drinks that I use. Coconut milk and coconut almond vanilla creamer from Trader Joe's. I rotate between coconut milk and almond milk. My current fixation though has been coconut milk so that's what we're gonna use today. And I use this little measuring thing. So we're gonna do six ounces of the coconut milk and one ounce or two tablespoons of the creamer on top, which is very important to how the matcha will come out and how it will look. So keep watching. So I take two ounces of water it's not supposed to be like boiling hot like that, but it's fine. I do have a matcha whisk, like one of those fancy ones, but if you have one of these, I highly recommend. You want to get that nice and frothy. This stuff is so convenient, I swear to God. That's what it should look like, okay? Now, we're going to take six ounces of this. I, I don't know why I'm so specific with it. I mean, I do know, but like, I don't know why I haven't just started kind of playing by ear. Okay, now this is really important. So here's my six ounces of coconut milk. I'm gonna heat her up on the stove. This is what makes the difference in my matcha, okay? And it makes it look all like cool and barista-like. So you take one of these things. It's an espresso milk frother. I'm sure what you can do is like heat up milk as well and then just use this to make it really frothy. So I do two tablespoons of creamer, which is like one ounce. Put it in here. And then she's just gonna froth. Look at that. Oh, you can can't see it, but inside she's doing her little thing. Okay, so I poured my matcha and milk in here. I'm gonna froth it back up so it can mix nicely. Here's our matcha and milk. And look at this, just look. Watch it fail this one time. <gasps> You can't make it look like that with just milk. You have to have something that's like a little thicker, like a cream or a milk that's really high in fat. Otherwise, it's not gonna give the same effect, the same look. And then I sprinkle lemon powder on top, swirl it around, and you have your delicious matcha. Look at that, she's stunning. <laughs> I finished it and I'm so pissed that they left it off like that. But I'm glad I finished it, it was a good book. I actually, I enjoyed it. Okay, it's a little bit later. It's raining and I love it. Oh no. Oh no, I hate when this happens. I forgot to fill up the water so let me make like half the coffee. Anyways, I'm making a coffee right now because I have to go sit and do some homework. Today's to-do list for homework is a math assignment. I already did the first one yesterday. These math assignments seriously take so long. He gives us the whole week to do it and I always leave it until the very last two days. We're gonna start with that because that takes the longest. And then I also so have a weekly module for an online class I have to complete. So it's like an activity, writing in a discussion board, and writing a 200 word journal. So that's not hard. Waiting for the coffee to finish. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what I thought. Like, of course that would happen. There's two coffees if anyone wants it. I don't know if you guys realize what just happened, but making that second coffee caused too much. Oof. What am I doing with my life? Like, am I okay today? Today's been quite, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's rainy or if I just woke up funny. Like, I've been, I've been in a funky mood today. Whatever. Anyways, look how cute my mug is. And this mug. These are kind of my two favorite mugs. Okay, we made our coffee. It took way more effort than it should have, but now let's go do some homework. Mm. Wait, I need cinnamon.
everyone. I'm heading to my two and a half hour lecture slash lab. Um, it's 8 in the morning. I'm gonna go to this class, which I, again, full disclosure, have not been to in a very long time. I get my stuff done either way, okay? But I feel guilty for not going, so we're going today. Had a little bit of a tough day. Spent an hour crying in a parking lot. But now, I'm sit and eat and just bask in this beautiful weather. I turned myself up a little bit. I already feel a little better just from walking out in the sunshine. So I thought I should share every moment. I like listening to music, but it's the sounds of the world. It's done. Mm -mm -mm. There's so many kids running cross country right now. Or track, it's track season. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Hi, coconut yogurt for the first time because I've been in a coconut milk kick which is a crazy thing because I actually hate coconut anything not coconut flavored I can stand that but like coconut itself and coconut shreds and coconut the texture makes me my skin crawl I also put chia seeds which may have been a mistake because I like chia seeds in my normal yo yogurt but this one is like chunky and it's not absorbing the chia seeds very well I feel like I'm making slime instead of breakfast Okay, well, whatever. It'll do. Anyways, I'm about to leave for class. I have my math class today. <laughs> and then I have speech class. And I think I have to stay afterwards for a conference. Because we have like three main speeches. And before each speech, we have to have like a conference with him. And I didn't sign up for one. Because, again, I miss class. <laughs> so I'm going to have to stay after class today, I think. Well, this is mess up, mate. I don't have to leave, but no stress, no stress, I'll be there. Rest of the plan for today, hopefully make it to the gym. I would love to move my body a little bit. What else, what else? Oh, I have to edit the rest of the second Japan vlog, which will be out by the time you guys are watching this vlog. So if you haven't seen it already, what are you doing? Go watch it. Japan is amazing. And I vlogged my whole trip, so I definitely think you guys should go watch part one and part two because I love them and I think you will too. Slam poetry, baby. I'm gonna finish my mid-ass breakfast and go to school. <laughs> this is my outfit. Let's go, I'm really late. Hi, dolls. It's much later now. I've been editing for the past like hour and a half, but I'm about to go get my nails done. I swear to God, if I'm doing like a week in my life, I am never not getting my nails done or going to the gym. Like, I feel like that's all I film. It's like, oh guys, I'm going to get my nails done or going to the gym, but. That is my life. That is realistic. So if you want to know what a typical week of my life looks like, well, I don't get my nails done every week. But I feel like every single time that I film one of these, I'm getting my nails done. Anyways, gonna go get a manicure because they're starting to grow out. I've had these for almost a month now. And I desperately need a pedicure. So we're doing that too. We're gonna get my classic manicure. Right now I just have some like nude square nails, but we're gonna get my bubble that almond nails. You know the vibes. And then funny bunny on my toes per usual. I don't know if I've ever done a color other than funny bunny. Like before I knew Funny Bunny existed, I was just doing white. That's essentially the same thing. Funny Bunny is just a shade from OPI. Also, you know, well, I was reading the bell jar. I mentioned that at the beginning. And I keep saying I want to read Norwegian Wood. Well, babe, I'm finally getting around to it. I had this book for years. I'm going to be so late if I keep rambling. I'm going to bring this to the nail salon while I get my toes done. And then I'm going to, obviously, I can't read while I get my manicure done. But finally, I've been talking about reading this for so long because I've had it for years in my bookshelf. About damn time. All right, let's go. I have to change. Bush. You know what's funny is I've been a long nails girl for so long like ever since I started like getting my nails done I don't really love short nails as much as I obviously that much as I love long nails But recently I know I just got them done long because this is like my go-to and I, I feel so like cutesy I don't know I'm almost like don't want to get my nails done anymore because it's so time-consuming It's a lot of money and I kind of like having actually I don't even know what I'm saying right now What am I saying? Anyways, we like we love because I love I'm gonna go home now to you guys 
later. If you guys know who Iris Law is, I saw her TikTok with the juiciest, like, I think it was this one. I kind of want to get one of them. Like, look at the shimmer. Oh my god. such baggy jeans right now because it's not matching the vibe of the shoe they're so cute and of course the red sole all right i'm back home now and i wanted to give you guys a little haul of what i got i got these um piece out early stage acne dots and they have like little bumps that kind of almost leach onto your skin it's really creepy but really cool and like satisfying and you like press and you can feel the like little spears like going into your skin on the pimple and like rah. I'm like really passionate about um, speaking about these pimple patches But yeah, they're supposed to like help with early oncoming pimples before they get like super crazy First night that I put them on I literally did my whole face because the girl was breaking out and she still is But we're getting there. I'm taking you guys through my skin journey, okay? We went from really clear skin to a full-on breakout, but that's okay. Skin can heal. I got my favorite brow gel, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel I also have the brow freeze gel, which is really good if I want a more like locked in look and then I got my favorite Laneige lip sleeping mask, the vanilla one, because I was out. Oh my god, okay, this is the last thing that I got. So I went in with a mission, like I knew what I wanted to get, um, a good general outline. And this was the last, like, last minute thing that I picked up in the little minis section, you know, in the checkout line. That that gets, that'll get you. I got the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. I've wanted this for so long. And when I saw that they had like a little mini, it's the perfect size, it's not even mini. They had a little tester, so I like put it on and I was like, ooh, babe, it's a yes. It's a yes for me. It's beautiful and it's gonna be perfect for the summer. I went to Sephora like shopping for summer makeup, summer glow in mind and this just topped it all off. So that was the last thing I picked up. But I went in looking for a good cream blush and I was between the Say blush, the Rare Beauty blush. I just didn't like that it turned into a powder, a compact one. It was like a cream, but then when you put it on, it like went into a powder. I didn't like that. I also looked at the makeup by Mario, but the shade I wanted was out. And then I looked at Pat McGrath, but I settled with Merit. I wanted this blush for a long time too, but I was in there for so long trying to find like the perfect shade between all those brands and consistency. Like I was in there for a hot minute okay they probably got sick of me this is the blush i got not your classic blush color but the finish of it is so beautiful this is the shade mood if you're interested like it's such a seamless application and like the way it sat on my skin even minutes after like applying it i was like oh this is perfect and i added some like shimmer drops from say while i was in there and it created the most dewy beautiful like it's just so pretty i'm so excited it's just like a very neutral blush i didn't want something super overpowering but i needed a little cream stick or cream blush and then I got the say Ooh, I'm so excited. this was the last one that they had the say buffing brush it's very very popular which is why it was probably the last one I'm really excited because everybody raves about this I've had my eye on it for some time it's so soft and it blends so nicely. Last thing that I got was the Super Goop Resetting 100% Mineral Powder. When I was scrolling through Sephora's website yesterday, trying to figure out what I was gonna, you know, creating my game plan for today, I was looking into SPF. I have so many SPF. Like, this is the one that I use the most. It's the Elta MD. And then I also have, like, the other Super Goop one. I have this one from Shiseido. I love my SPF. A lot of the times I get really oily. So I found out about this. It's supposed to be, like, a reapplicator of SPF throughout the day. And you can put it on top of your makeup. I put like tinted SPF as my base to my makeup and then I'll get really oily. So this like you can reapply SPF and it sets your face and it's it's genius. You literally just like shake it. It comes through the brush and you just like sweep it across your face. I test a little bit on my hand. Perfection. I was like blown away by this concept. So super goop, you're a genius and you get to basically set your makeup, reset it anytime it gets oily throughout the day and reapply SPF. I can never reapply SPF throughout the day if I have makeup on because that would mean taking off my makeup or like I would have to have a spray or something. So it's it's genius. It's I'm so excited. That was my haul from today. It's not even 2 p.m. yet. So I'm gonna walk Winston and I think I'll take care of some homework so I don't have to do it all on Sunday. But I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I don't think I've done an outro in so long. <laughs> I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little normal, regular, realistic week in my life. And I love you so much. I'll see you next week. Bye!